Hey guys, episode 19, Stripe Show. You guys ready? Oh my goodness. Well, I'll be uh, I'll be out in the putting green. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Stripe Show, episode 19. I'm your host, Travis Fulton, here at the beautiful Jacksonville Golf and Country Club Action Pack Show here for you today. It's the Open Championship Week, the third major of the year across the pond at one of my favorite courses in the road at Carnoustie. So much history there. We got a lot to cover. We're going to call episode 19 the ground game because they play golf over there a little bit different here in america it's up in the air over there in europe it's down on the ground so look what i got i got my trusty little driving iron here we're going to learn to hit the stinger the bullet the chaser off the tee you're going to love that and then also around the green how to hit those low bump and runs with spin and without spin then of course we're going to talk a little bit about putting all of that and your swings we got five show us your swing, some really good swings, some good patterns that I want to get to. Now, before we get to all that, I took a trip last week to Pinehurst morning, and we played, what's up, Jaron? We played seven of the nine golf courses, beautiful place. I took some great vids and some great pictures. Dustin, what is he doing? Uh, he, he said he wanted to practice his putting. He just wanted to practice his putting, get going. Just, just run this video here from Pinehurst. Money getting his, uh, his 10 second workout. Warming up. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Third day, Pinders number two today. Gotta go low, the big dog. There he is, great moment. Games. All right, good start here, Pinders number two. Part the first two holes. On the third, got some work here. Beautiful place. Got it. There it is. I got it. <laughs> Great trip to Pinehurst Resort there, Pinehurst, North Carolina, one of the top spots in the country. Fun to hang out with my friends there and play some golf. Woo, my wrists and elbows are feeling it. Thanks for the invites. Let's get to uh, the stinger shot here, kicking off. It's the ground game on the Stripe Show where we hit these low shots like we're gonna see at the Open Championship. And I got my trusty little Callaway Apex driving iron. I hit this a few times at Piners. I love it because you can swing hard and hit that bullet out there, a shot that you're gonna see a lot at Carnoustie. So how do we do that? So I'm gonna get my setup here. You're gonna see some of these players, they're gonna play the ball a little bit back in the stance, right? So they might play the ball one ball back, but some don't. Some just keep the ball position in the same spot. And what they do is when they come into impact, they'll take the club face 
and of course they're going to deloft it. We got to deloft the face here. We can't come into impact and let the club face pass this way where the left wrist gets too cupped or extended through impact. It's got to be flat or if anything a little bowed, a little flex forward. Look at that club face there, Tom. You can see how it's de-lofting like that. The second thing is, is you're going to see them try to really keep the left shoulder working up and around so the attack angle doesn't get too down. Sometimes when trying to hit low shots, I see you trying to hit down more and then you lose the loft of the face. So the more you hit down the face, we add loft and it goes straight up in the air. So the idea here is kind of a relatively shallow attack with a de-lofted face. This lead wrist through impact, watch this, bow it forward and then watch how I carry it through. I'm going to take the lead wrist and I'm going to carry it up to the sky and point it towards the target. Bowed up to the sky and point it towards the target. Not cupped and looking back at me. That's the key. If we can do that, we can hit this little bullet stinger out there. Yeah, look at there. The low one chasing out, that ball is probably going to run 50, 60 yards at Carnoustie. I love that shot. Practice it because it can help you too. All right, time for our first show us your swing. It's my man Travis. My man Travis. Hey, this is Travis. What a great name. Appreciate you uh, sending the video in. Got a couple things to help you. You're just getting into the game. You're doing some good stuff. Um, at a dress, I'm going to get the club shaft angle a little lower and scoot you in a little closer to the ball. So I'll show you that. What I like is that when you take it back, you do a good job of keeping the club head out in front of you and then do a good job of hinging your wrist. Check this out. Right wrist bent, left wrist flat. Well done. What I want to show you is a good drill that's going to help you turn your hips better and that's going to help you turn your shoulders better. Okay. Now, those two things I'm going to show you from the face on angle and it's a really good drill that'll help you get your turn where you want it to the top and really complement that wrist hinge. Now, coming down, as you go to impact, you do a great job turning. Look at your left hip. Your left hip has opened up. Well done. You can see the club face opened up here because you hit it on the toe. That's the gear effect. But you do a nice job turning your hips open and a nice job re-hinging your wrist. The opportunity coming through is this foot. You've got to get that right foot up to the toe. So I'm going to show you some weight shift coming through. And I think this drill that I want to show you um, with the body, we call it a pivot drill. It's going to really help you understand how the body turns going back how it transitions coming through, and then how it finishes. And I think that's the next step for you in your development. Keep up the good work. Super pumped that you're in the game of golf. Here it comes. All right, Travis, good stuff. Hey, welcome to the game of golf. You're doing some really good things. Love that wrist hinge at the top, and I love it coming through. Here's a body drill that's going to help you get your body moving better. It's going to give you more distance, and it's going to give you more accuracy. You can see I've got this stick on the ground. You can put anything down, another club, and just set it just to the inside of your right foot. Give yourself about an inch, inch and a half, somewhere in there like that. Then take the club you're going to hit and put it across your shoulders. I like the grip end over here to the left like this. Get in your golf posture. Give yourself a little bit of spine tilt to the right. And then what I want you to do is I want you to turn your shoulders and hips and I want you to try to get this club to match up to the stick on the ground. See that? That's going to give you a nice full turn in the shoulders. Now notice when I turn my shoulders, I'm also letting my trail hip really turn back up behind me like this, right? So my hips are turning as well. Now, shoulders turn, hips turn. Look at the club here across my shoulders, pretty much matching up to the club on the ground. Now, as you do that, let's go to the target line. I want you to make sure that as you turn, that you keep yourself angled more this way. See how my left shoulder is a little more down? You don't have to force that. You don't have to be like, like this. Just turn, feel like your chest almost kind of pushes out a little bit, but you keep your shoulders and your hips kind of angled more down to the ground. See how that works? Okay, that's the orientation that you want to be. It's not a level turn like this, where your shoulders and hips are level to the ground, but that right shoulder's higher, that right hip's higher, and it's pointing down to the ground and from face on you can see how it's matching up 
to this stick on the ground. So I like that. That's going to really get you turned to the top to complement this wrist hinge. I think the club will lengthen out. Here's the final thing. When you swing through, see this right foot here? Let it come up to the toe like this. Right foot all the way up to the toe. You're going to hold this and you're going to watch that golf ball fly long and straight. Here we go. Nice full turn in the shoulders and hips. And then we swing through and look at my right foot all the way up onto the toe. Get in the habit of tapping your toe and when that ball is done rolling, now you can move on. I love that. Thanks for the video. Practice that. Send me an update in a few weeks and we'll put it back on the Stripe Show. Time for Show Us Your Swing. Number two, this is Christian. Hey Christian, thanks so much for watching the Stripe Show and being a fan. Um, really appreciate it. You got a lot of good things going in your swing, particularly um, the way that you take the club back, uh, the club head really in a nice spot there in relationship to your hands. Love where your hands are in relationship to your body. Good wrist hinge. You know, it's good shape going back to the swing. And it's really not too bad coming down either. You know, maybe a little bit on top of it coming down. But I think the greatest opportunity that you have is probably in the club face. Um, the club face angle, when you look at it, I would say that the club face right here, that toe is pointing probably up this way. And then as you get to the top and you look at the club face right there, that toe is pointing down to the ground, you know, somewhere in there. So uh, last week I talked about the club face a little bit. And when it gets open, uh, coming down, we can get the shaft a little vertical. You can see the shaft wants to stand up a little bit coming down right here. And then usually when you come down, you'll throw it a little bit. And we don't have the face on view. But it does look like you're probably losing some shaft lean right here and uh, in attempt to square that club face up. So really a nice looking swing, lots of good things. I want to give you a couple things to think about in the way of the club face because I do think if you get the club face more square going back, um, coming down, I think you'll be in a better spot here. And it'll really position you. Uh, and there, even right there, you can see coming down. That's a good look, that toe kind of you know kind of pointing back behind you at that point and it should be kind of more curled in that way so I'll give you some things to think about in the way of the club face going back and coming down and what that could lead to in the way of forward shaft lean at impact all right man here it comes all right Christian good stuff with the swing I'm going to show you something but before we get to that Christian thank you for being a fan of the stripes I know you've been with us uh, for a long time we appreciate you being a stripe head and for some of you right now you're watching this you like what you see share it with your friends you know the real you know the drill here you share it i give you a free mulligan the next time you play so thank you for watching the stripe show christian here's a couple things that i think is going to really help you and the first is really the club face right now if we go to the target line your club face is rotating pretty open the toe right there is pointing up to the sky and then as you go to the top, the toe is pointing down to the ground. So that toe, you can see, is pointing straight down to the ground. All right, now that's a combination of probably the grip and the wrist hinge. It looks like your grip might be, as we go to face on here, a little bit kind of on the neutral side, which I'm fine with. I think the right hand, I wouldn't mind seeing you just kind of bring it a little bit more underneath, and that'll soften your right elbow, and you won't be so dominant this way with the right arm. So I think just make sure that right hand's a little bit more underneath. And then as we try to get it more square, what we're going to do is we're going to get that toe a little bit more down here. And then as we go to the top, we're going to flatten out that lead wrist. And what I want to see is I want this club face to work a little bit more towards the sky. See the club face there? It's a little bit more up towards the sky. And that's because my left wrist is starting to flatten out. And that's something I talk a lot here at the Stripe Show is getting that left hand to maybe be a little bit more underneath here, kind of more knuckles down, see the toe, and then a little flatter here, right? And as I go flat, you can see the club face is turning to the sky. And as I go cup, the toe points more down to the ground. Now that's important for you as we go to face on here because when the face is open, what's happening is you come down to impact, your body kind of stops, and then you lose some shaft angle to try to square. And I think that's why as a left-handed golfer, 
you're aiming off to the left because when you come down to impact, you kind of come over it and then you let that club shaft out and that club face looks off to the right more for you and that's why it kind of pulls back on line. All right, so you kind of aim left, come over it, let it out at the bottom, club face looks more off to the right and you pull it. Now that's for a lefty. For a righty, for those that are watching here, and this is a common thing, and that's why I'm spending a little time on it, is we might aim a little bit more to the right from target line, and then as we come down, we come over it, and then as we swing across a little bit, we let out the shaft, and that gets the club face looking down the line or maybe even off to the left. So we gotta get the club face more square, as I talked about, and then as we come down, now we're in a position where we can start to really get these wrist angles to lean the shaft forward. And what I would recommend that you do as you work the club face here and here at the top and you come down is hit some punch shots. Okay, that stinger that I talked about earlier in the show, lead wrist kind of flattened boat, just try to keep that firm and let it kind of ride this way. Right, and hit little half punch shots. Look at my wrist here, Tom. Right, you can see flat, almost bowed, and kind of riding up this way. That works for you if the club face is more square to slightly close. Club face rules the golf swing. We get it in better shape. Now we can lean the shaft forward. Punch shots are beautiful. And then off you go, it filtering in to your full swing. This is an important video a lot of people out there. This applies to and will make that impact position more consistent, which I know you are after. So good stuff there, Christian. Great video. I hope that helps you. Time for 14 strong. Let's roll. All right, time for 14 strong. You know the deal. Every week we pick one club and we talk about it and we make it a strength. It's the ground game this week on the Stripe Show. It's the Open Championship. And I've got two clubs in my hand because, you know, the 60, it's that shot, it's that club that we just kind of default to every time that we miss a green here in the United States. We like to play the ball up in the air. But in Europe, it's not that obvious every time you miss a green. Sometimes you gotta go 56, 52, and you gotta hit different shots, keeping it down and run it up there, right? So we've got a shot here. I just missed this green here on nine here at Jacksonville Golf and Country Club. I'm in the rough and I've kind of short-sided myself. Come up here, Tom, let's show them this here. Greens are soft here, right? Everything's a little bit softer. So as I walk up to the slope here, I've got to hit something high and this green will receive it, right? I'll hit it here just maybe like 10 feet short. It'll land soft and roll down the hill. Now over there, it's not that obvious. You got to land the ball shorter, right? You've got to be able to hit the ball in the bank. The grass isn't as long around the aprons here. So I could hit it into this bank, kind of deaden it and then let it run down. So let's go back down here, Tom and let's hit the shot that I would just naturally default here to. Hey, give me my 60, All right? Let's take my 60, let's open it up a little bit, let's get the handle down, let's get the sternum over it. We've talked about this shot. Let's let the left wrist hinge and rotate the face. See how I'm doing that? Face rotates open, don't get that face like this. And then of course from there, a little bit of turn with the chest coming through. So here we go. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Pop it straight up in the air. Down soft. Hit a little too hard. So let's try it again. I'm going to rotate that face open. And you can just see there just a nice soft rate of turn. Oh! Did you get that, Jaron? Great shot, Travis. All right. I like that shot. We hit that shot a lot here in the United States. Got to get it up in the air, right? The greens are receptive, they're softer. So we can throw it up in the air more here, get it into the green and the ball will stop. Now in Europe, not the case. You're gonna see a lot more of the ground game. You're gonna see more of that low to mid trajectory it's gonna hit and they got to really anticipate how that ball is gonna shoot forward. Are they gonna hit it in there really low and chase it? Are they gonna bring it up medium trajectory and try to deaden it a little bit more. All kinds of variables play into that. But it's a fun shot to learn how to hit. So let's get into how to hit that lower shot into the bank. I like this shot. I actually grew up with this shot in Northern Idaho, small greens. And perhaps you play smaller greens, and you gotta learn how to hit it 
into the bank. So I've got my 56, the club of choice here in 14 strong. I'm going to square the face up. I'm going to play the ball back in the stance. And now my weight's going to be more left. My sternum definitely a little more ahead of the ball. You're going to see this week in Carnoustie, the sternum is going to be more over the ball or maybe just even slightly left of it. You're not going to see this. All right, you're going to see a little more left bend and open to get that club head landing right on top of that firm surface. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and wheel around here, Justin. I'm going to land it into the bank. Face square, ball back, weight left. I'm going to take a little more inside. Look at this club face. It's going to go a little more in here. Club face is not going to rotate as open. Notice in the lob, I hinged it up more, rotated the face. On the lower one, I'm going to let it kind of come in here a little bit, hinge it, and then I'm going to let the face kind of rotate down a bit. See, they're almost like a little bit of a, a draw technique. The higher one, the face stayed, club face was looking back like this. This one, club face is going to turn down a little bit, and I'm going to hit it right into that bank. Here it comes. It's going to deaden it into the bank, deadens it, and then you can see there a lot more roll than that lob shot. That's a shot you're going to see a lot at the Open Championship. Now, I've got two more shots for you. Come on. Okay, scenario number two. This time, I'm short of the green, not in the rough, but I'm here in the fairway. Take a look at this, Justin. I've got a kind of a tight lie here. They're going to get a lot of tight lies, much tighter than this over at the Open Championship. It's tough to simulate those conditions over here in the United States because the grass is different, the firmness of the ground is different, how much moisture is in the green is different. It's just all very, very different. Now, let's take a walk here on this particular shot, a shot that we're faced with where we've got a lot of green to work with, right? And this green here is pretty soft, but I'm going to try to get the ball to land kind of up in here and then let it run out. Okay, so you can see that scenario there back up that hill, plenty of green to work with. Now, our 56 is our club of choice. We can hit a bump and run with the 56, but over here in the States, you might go 52, you might go 48, you might go 9 iron, right, depending upon how much you want to run it up. All right, so let's go ahead and come on back here. How do we hit that low running shot where we want to take the spin off, that true bump and run technique? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the face square. I like to set the shaft a little bit more upright. Definitely forward, right? You don't have to get crazy, but it's definitely forward. And then kind of stand to the handle. Move your body up here so it points at your belt buckle or just left of your belt buckle. Ball position pretty middle, maybe just slightly back. And then from there, we're going to take our full swing grip. And you can see how the shaft here, go ahead and check this out here, Justin. You see how the shaft is in line with my lead arm here. My lead wrist is pretty flat. Okay, that left wrist is flat, that's a straight line. And then we're going to drop that back down. Going to get a little bit of weight left, and you can see here from the target line how upright I am. And then we're just going to use our shoulders back and through. Pretty stiff wristed shot. Arms are going to stay pretty passive. Not a lot of play in the wrists on either side. Just going to turn right, turn left, keeping the left arm attached to the chest. Here we go. Nice and upright, shafts forward in line with the lead arm. Turn right, turn left, low running shot, up the hill, just like that. That's a true bump and run. You can hit that with a lot of different clubs. You're going to definitely see that shot over there at Carnoustie. Now, another shot, right? What if I wanted to kind of bring it up a bit, but have a little more spin on it, right? Kind of that cool medium trajectory shot where we get a little more spin and the ball checks. Well, what we're going to do there is we're going to take the face, we're going to open it just slightly, still going to lean the shaft forward, ball position maybe middle, maybe even slightly forward, and then from there we're going to give it just a really playful lead wrist. My lead wrist. Kind of letting that left wrist hinge a little, club head gets working up a little, face is definitely a little bit more open. And then from there, as the club falls, I'm going to let that club head fall right on top of the ball. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the butt of the club here in my pocket. Okay? So you'll notice on that longer finish, or the one that was running, everything was pretty straight and in line. This one, I'm going to let it come out of line. Look, it's going to swing, and that club head's going to pass. And then I'm going to put that club head over here, or that butt of the club, 
over in my left pocket. Look at the face there just kind of looking back at me. So it's kind of a playful lead wrist with some face rotation. And then I let it pass as I turn the chest through. That's going to bring the trajectory up a bit with a little bit more spin. Yeah, and look at that. That ball checked up. I like that shot. You don't want to gouge the ground on that one. You really want to keep that left shoulder working up and around and try to get max friction on the face. Very, very clean on the face. Not a lot of dig, just that little bruising of the divot, and that ball really checks up. I like those two shots as well. These types of shots here in 14 Strong, you're going to see them this week in the Open Championship. A lot of variation, a lot of imagination, and you're going to really enjoy that and probably learn a lot from it as well. All right, one more shot here, just off the green, 56 degrees. I'm going to pop it up in. You guys ready? Oh, where do you get these guys, Justin? Face open, weight left, little hinge, turn through. Good shot, good shot. But it's a tough green. Yeah. Show us your swing, number three. Hey Ryan, thanks for the uh, the swing here. I want to show you a couple of things here. It looks like you got a good setup position, kind of a tough camera angle. Next time, send it from face on directly at you or down the line. But I think I can point out a couple of things here for you. The first thing is you make a great turn uh, to the top. Look at those shoulders. Look at that left knee coming across. I love that. See how it's pointing back behind it? Make sure you don't rock to the outside of that right foot. See the right foot there? See how you're kind of rocking a little bit towards the outside of the shoe that way? Uh, I think a little bit more stability there in that foot. Keep it braced. Might even flare it out just a little bit. Let your right foot kind of go that way towards 1 o'clock and then let your left foot kick out towards 11 o'clock. Now coming down we need some weight shift. From the top of the swing when you start down it's all upper. See that right there? You can see your upper just turns. You can see your left hip just kind of spins back that way. You're a candidate that needs a little more lateral motion that way, okay? So from the top of the swing, I want to show you how to get kind of everything moving to the left, and particularly the lower body. Let the pelvis kind of slide a little more to the left, and that'll get the club in a better position coming down and certainly get a little more weight on your front foot as you swing through impact and I think that'll really help you out. So let's get the footwork a little bit better to dress, a little more stability in the right shoe at the top, and then I want to show you uh, some good weight shift stuff that you can do to start your downswing. All right, Ryan, good stuff. Let's, uh, let's get into this, starting with your footwork. What I want you to do at a dress, when you get in there, I want you to take both feet and just flare them out a little bit. So my right foot's going to kind of go out towards 1 o'clock, left foot maybe out towards 11, maybe even 10 o'clock. Now, you make a great shoulder turn, right? So I love all of this turn to the top. What I want to make sure is that we don't rock to the outside of the foot. See that there, Jaren? See, I'm, I'm turning, I'm kind of rocking to the outside of my foot. I want that to have more stability, right? Act like you've got a post here, and then you're going to turn, keep that foot more planted, and turn and stay inside of that post. See there? and don't let yourself kind of kick out this way, all right? So a little more stability into the foot, really grip the ground more, it's like you're gripping the ground more towards one o'clock. Stay stable there and don't let it kick out. Now, I think more importantly than that, you need some weight shift. From the top of the swing, you are predominantly just upper body here. This lower body, the left hip's not going left enough. You need more slide to the left. So if I put this on the other side, and I, gave you, and I gave you about a fist width and moved it out there, okay? That's where we should be. We should be up here and then moving into that post. And you might even take one of these here and put it in the ground. So I could set up here and I could slide this in the ground like this. Give yourself about a fist width there. And then what you want to do is get to the top and then start moving into it, right? And that's going to feel like probably six feet. <laughs> it's going to feel forever because you're used to going this way, right? So that's kind of good. You know, might even put a chair there. Do this at home. Put a chair up to your left hip about a fist width 
and then get yourself kind of feeling yourself moving up to it, moving up to it. And then you hit it, and then from there you turn through just like you're doing. Very good rotationally. Just give yourself some more stability going back here. A little more lateral shift up to the lead post, and that's going to really help you get the club to shallow out and I think prepare the shaft and the face better as you hit the driver. Yeah, there it is. Early weight shift, I turned, now I'm up here better. No hanging back, that's gonna really help. Thanks so much for the video. Time for this week's 18 Birdies app feature on the new feed. Hey guys, Randy here from 18 Birdies and I wanna show you how to use the feed. The feed is split into two sections, which you'll see at the top. One's called following and the other is explore. You can toggle between the two of these just by tapping each of the tabs. The following section contains all posts from your friends, people you follow, and courses you follow. This acts just like a feed in most common social networks. To send your own posts, simply tap the blue pencil icon and post away. You can add text, photos, or videos to your posts. You also have the ability to select who your posts go to by tapping the share to bar at the top. Lastly, you can tag a course or share out to Facebook by tapping the Facebook button in the bottom right corner. Now moving to the explore section, this is your one-stop shop for all things golf. Come here to find the latest in golf news, equipment reviews, women's specific content, and more from the most respected sources in the industry. The updated feed in the 18 Birdies app. I love that feature. Dude, did you block me on the feed? I, I, think, I think I may have. Anyway, moving on here in the 18 Birdies app, that feed, all kinds of great talent in there. Be sure to check it out. I'm posting a lot in there, including my brand new beginner series, which is great. Look at that in the marketplace there and get it. It's a 15 video series that takes you from the fundamentals at address, full swing, short game, all the things that you need to know when you're getting into the game and perhaps you're playing already and you just need a reboot. Check that out. I like that. Did you buy that, Young? Dude, you did block me. I did block you. Yes, I did. Time for show us your swing. Number four, this is Jeff Smith. Hey, Jeff, thanks so much for the video. Uh, really a nice looking golf swing here, starting with the setup position. Very good. First move here. Look at the club head outside the hands. And as you go to the top of the swing here, I think my you know only real concern here is the depth of the left arm here. You can see you start to kind of lift it up a little bit in the neck area. And then I think as you come down, you can see your hands kind of return a little bit to the outside of that red line. And I'll back it up here. You can see where they start, right? They start to the inside. And then as you go back, you can see they stay to the inside. And then as you come down, you can see they're going to get back to the outside of that line. So um, I, I think just a little bit of left arm depth could go a long ways for you. And uh, what I want to show you here is from this position right here, um, how we can get the hands to work, uh, say, just a little bit more kind of back in this way, recruit a little bit more from the right hip and the right knee. And uh, I think that would put the left arm in a good position um, and keep the left shoulder uh, down a little bit rather than the shoulders wanting to kind of level out this way. I think it would help the orientation, keeping the shoulders a little bit more on an angle down towards the ground. So uh, let, me, let me show you a little bit of backswing work, but you do some great stuff coming through. Really a nice swing rotationally coming through. Um, I'm sure you hit a lot of terrific shots, but here's a couple things to consider in your backswing. Hey Jeff, well done. Really good golf swing. Want to show you one thing as it pertains to your hands, where they start and then where they kind of start to return coming down. And I think the depth in the lead arm, as I mentioned, will help you with that. So let's go to the target line here. I'm going to take my setup. I put this club down on the ground or the stick down on the ground. And that was that red line. So I can imagine the stick is coming straight up and it's just outside of my hands out here right now. As you went back, your hands beautifully stayed to the inside of that. Really nice here. And then when they would come down, your hands would kind of want to ride a little bit out this way, right? Return to the other side like that. 
Now, I think the depth of your lead arm as you get to here and getting a little bit deeper this way would help return your hands back to a good position here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our setup here. I want you to feel like your lead arm here, okay, if we go to face on here, your lead arm, just kinda kinda pinch it here and pinch this underneath. And then from here, I'm gonna take it back the same way. My hands are gonna feel like they're to the inside, pinched, and then I'm gonna kinda keep it pinched as I turn to the top. And you can see my lead arm went more this way, deeper behind me, rather than say here and then up. And you see I would lose that connection there, that pinch. So I like that pincher. You might even put a little head cover there and let that left arm ride a little bit deeper behind. Now you'll notice as I do that, my right hip, as we go to face on, it wants to turn a little bit deeper. I talk about it all the time here on the Stripe Show. Turn your hips. Get that right hip to turn up and back. Lose some flexion in the knee. That'll really give you more range for the left arm to get deeper. And I also think your lead shoulder when you do that will kind of tilt a little bit more down like this. Right, so I'm gonna exaggerate one here. Here's the old way. Here's the new way. Okay, and I think by doing that, again, it'll help the hands return back to the inside of this track. And that's just a good image in itself. Just feel like this is a wall coming up for your hands, stays to the inside of that coming down. And I think that'll really complement what is already a very good golf swing. Okay, left arm attached. Yeah, there it is. Hands start inside and return inside, and I think that's gonna help. Good swing, give that a go. Thank you so much. Some of you at home are probably like, hey, I wanna send my swing in because I need some help. Well, here's how you get involved. Hey there, Travis Fulton here with The Stripe Show. You want to get involved? What's on your mind? Send me a question. Tweet it to at 18 birdies app or email it to the Stripe Show at 18birdies.com. But perhaps you really need some help. I want you to send me a video. And in that video, I want you to tell me what the tendencies are with your ball flight so I can help you. Film your swing from face on, where you're looking at me just like this, or the target line. One of these two angles is what I need to see to give you some good feedback. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna make you a deal. I'm gonna show you my swing. Now, I want you to show us your swing. Let's get involved, that's all you gotta do. Send us your swing to the Stripe Show at 18birdies.com. I'll load it in, give you analysis, give you good information and put it in the right order. That's what it takes. We take the time here, break it down. What's the next step for you to develop your pattern to improve the probability of impact? That's what it takes. So good stuff that I got one more show us your swing coming up at the end. And remember, make sure you like us here at 18 Birdies Facebook and share it with your friends. You share it, I give you a mulligan. You can use that mulligan whenever you want the next time you play with our buddies. We finish up the Stripe Show each and every week with a 60 second swing fix. We got 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Here we go, 60 seconds. It's the ground game here in the Stripe Show. We talked about the stinger. We talked about the short game shots, all those little bump and runs, hitting them into the bank with spin, without spin. Well, the ground, we got to talk about putting. And one thing you're going to see over at Carnoustie is a lot of putting off of the green. And we do that even here in the United States. You can see here from the target line, I'm on the fringe here, a good five, six paces off the green. Nice fringe, smooth here, beautiful shape at Jacksonville Golf and Country Club. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna putt this. And what I see players do when they putt this off the fringe is they get in here and then they goose it, right? They know they gotta hit a little bit harder, so it's, it's kinda one of those deals, right? They take it back to the ball and we kinda goose it with the hands. And sometimes it works out. My advice to you, when you putt off the fringe, just treat it as a longer putt, right? So if I take it back here, if this was an eight footer on the green, yeah, it looks something like that. Well, now just expand that. Use your shoulders more, right? It just expands on both sides. Don't goose it. Stretch it out 
And if you can do that, then it gives you better pacing, better speed, better tempo coming through. And I hit that more solid in the face and look at that, it rolls up there to about a foot and a half. We're just trying to get it close here. Try to get the goose out, stretch it out, smooth it out, and that's gonna help you putting from long distance and particularly off the fringe. Watch for that at Carnoustie. This has been a fun show. I love Lynx Golf. Watch it this week over at the Open Championship. It's a beautiful style of golf. The ground game, I hope you picked up a few pointers that are gonna help you even here in the United States. We got one more. Show us your swing here before I let you go. And this comes from a young man by the name of Alden. He's five years old and he's a fan of the Stripe Show. And we love what we see in his swing. Thank you for watching the Stripe Show. We'll see you next week and check out my man Alden. Make it. <laughs> hey Alton, this is Travis. Let me tell you something, buddy. You are doing really, really good. You're five years old and you have an awesome swing. Look at that setup position. Really good. You take the club back great. Look at this club here. You turn good. My favorite part of your swing is right here. Impact. Look at this right through turning into a beautiful finish, right foot up onto the toe. I want you to work on one thing for me, okay? And that is when you take it to the top, I want you to try to get your left arm to be a little bit higher, okay? So you're gonna get your left arm a little bit higher, so your hands are just above your right shoulder, and then I want you to do everything the same from there and swing to this beautiful, Finish position. You made my day, Alden, here on the Stripe Show, sending me your swing. Keep up the good work, buddy.